Welcome to Analytica Video Shorts, short videos showcasing individual topics in Analytica 5. Your host today, Lonnie Chrisman. Today I'm going to show you two uses for multi-choice. The first use is for selective parametric analysis. In this model, at a discount rate of 8%, here is the computed cumulative probability distribution for NPV revenue. To see how this varies at different discount rates, you can enter a different value for discount rate and recompute. But it's hard to see what just changed. So instead, I can enter a list of possible discount rates and then recompute the result. Now, discount rate is a dimension of my result. Since I usually want to compute for only a single discount rate, and only occasionally want to compute for all discount rates, a better option is to use a choice pull down for discount rate. The list of possible values are now in the domain attribute, and in the pull down I can select any single value or I can select all. This becomes very useful when you have several parametric inputs. You don't really want to evaluate your model with 20 inputs set to all because you'll end up with an extra 20 dimensions on many of your variables, which can get computationally prohibitive. So this setup makes it easy to treat a few inputs parametrically at a time. Since we're selecting which inputs are treated parametrically, it's called selective parametric analysis. You can take this one step further by changing the choice into a multi-choice. Now it isn't all or one. You can now select any subset of discount rates. When you select exactly one value, your results don't have an extra discount rate index, but if you select two or more, then the discount rate dimension propagates to your result. So in this first example, a multi-choice is a simple generalization of choice. The second use for multi-choice arises when you want to limit an index to a subset of possible values. For example, here the index projects contains all possible projects. In a large model, you might want to limit your runs to just a subset of projects. So I'm going to change the projects index into a multi-choice. Before I make that change, I need to be careful about losing data in tables that use the project index. Consider this table that has the projects index. If I were to change the project index to a list of three projects, that would delete four rows of the table, and that data would be lost. To avoid that, I need to change this table into a determ table. In the object window, select Other, and then Determ table, and press OK. With the determ table, it will keep the data around for all of the projects, even with only a subset selected. So I've gone ahead and changed the other tables in this model to determ tables already. Now I'm ready to change projects into a multi-choice. In the object window for projects, select Other. User interface functions. And then multi-choice. Enter self for the index parameter and press OK. Now notice that it moved the full list of projects to the domain attribute for me. The difference between this usage and the selective parametric analysis usage example is that here it needs to always evaluate to a list, even if only one item is selected, because here it defines an index. Hence, you need to ensure that the return list parameter of multi-choice is set to true, as it is here. Notice that I'm verifying this by viewing the definition in expression view. For convenience, I'll make an output node for this and move it to the model interface. Now, with four of the seven projects selected, I'll compute one of the results. You can see here that there's only four projects in the result. When you structure it like this, all of the model's internal calculations behave as if there are only four projects in all. Once again, a key concept here is that if you use multi-choice for selective parametric analysis, you want the return list parameter of multi-choice to be false or just omitted. 
but when you use it to define a subset index for your model, you need to specify return list as true. Overall, I think you'll find multi-choice to be quite easy and useful. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.